Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to today's episode of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to swing by the channel and watch the video. Always appreciate that. And guys, today we're going to be talking about the best type of day to go fishing in the month of February and March. As far as, you know, everybody doesn't have unlimited amount of time to go fishing, but if you can pick one type of day weather-wise, uh, it's the type of day that uh, the fish are going to be biting better on these type of days than any other condition you're going to have this time of year. So we're going to go over that in today's video. And also, guys, just a quick reminder out there, I'd like to invite everybody, if you haven't had a chance, to consider subscribing here to The Fishing Teacher. That's a good way to help the channel out. And also, I really appreciate everybody that's been supporting the channel by using my Tackle Warehouse links in the, in the description of the video. If you guys are wanting to stock up on some spring tackle, um, they got some great sales there. And if you use that link, that's a really good way to give back to the channel, and I really appreciate that. Okay, guys, the uh, best type of day as far as how the fish are going to be or when the fish are going to be the most active. And I think it's probably going to surprise you a little bit because most people would think that, you know, the best type of fishing day would be, you know, you get one of those warm early spring days where maybe a little bit of wind and clouds, that type of stuff. Part of that's true. Part of that's not true. Um, out of all the February and Marches I've fished, which has been over 50 of them now, unbelievable, I can tell you by far the best conditions for this time of year. Now I'm not really, I'm not really sure why it activates the fish um, under these conditions, but it, de it definitely does. There's no doubt in my mind. Number one, the best type of day, or the, or the best type of day as far as the, the first variable of that is temperature. Contrary to popular belief, it's not those warm days that you get like in early spring like this. Like right now here in Missouri, it's 60 degrees above normal. This would not be a good fishing day out there. The temperature that you want to have on a uh, February or March day is below normal. Maybe, maybe like a five degree below normal temperature or maybe even colder than that. Fairly cold day where you've got some moisture in the air with either some type of misty rain or heavy overcast or high humidity and about a 10 mile an hour wind. <clears throat> the combination of that cool temperature and the wind and the clouds, for whatever reason, it activates those fish, especially those fish that are in, le in less than 10 foot of water. And I think I'm not really, I don't, one of the things I've had a hard time figuring out over the years is like, well, I can understand the wind and the clouds helping out because it reduces the light level, makes them make mistakes a little bit more. But I've never really understood why the temperature is so important because I have spent a ton of days fishing this time of year on these nice, unseasonably warm days, even if it's raining or something like that. And the fish, the fish just, they don't bite that good. But you get one of those days where whatever the weather system comes in causes it to be, you know, a little bit nasty, almost on the verge of snowing. If you can, if you can get one of those days out there where that temperature is hovering around 32, 33, 34 degrees, where you have that, like that wet snow coming down, if you're in that part of the country that has that, that is a surefire guarantee that those fish are gonna be biting big time out there. So I just wanted to run that by you because if you got, if you have to schedule out your fishing days when you can go and you can look forward ahead, you know, to the weather that's gonna be on, try to find that type of day in February, March. Now, another correlation with this, not just necessarily February, March, but it has to do more with the water temperature in correlation with those conditions I just talked about. You need to have water temperatures anywhere between the mid 40s to the mid 50s. And if you get them in that range, mid 40s to mid 50s, along with the combination of the weather I talked about, um, it's a really good time to catch them shallow, shallow power, power fishing, spinner baits, jerk baits, crank baits, jigs, you know, anything out there that you can fish shallow and cover some water with. But well, anyway, I wanted to pass that along to you guys. Thought it might be a little tidbit of information you could use sometime. And I will check in later. See y'all.